Every business need money to purchase resources or meet its day-to-day -day expenses. The money required for business activity is called business finance. With this line, we'll start our today's topic which is related to business studies for class 11th and the topic is sources of business finance. In this video, we'll cover certain topics related to sources of finance which includes classification of sources of funds on the basis of period or time which is followed by long term funds medium term funds and short term funds inadequate funds can lead to business failure thus business finance is called as life blood of business Business funds can be raised through personal sources or borrowings from friends, banks, financial institutions or public. The sources of finance can be classified on the basis of period, source of generation and ownership. The amount of finance and time period for which the finance is required depends upon the purpose for which finance is needed on the basis of period or time the sources of fund can be categorized as long term sources medium term sources and short term sources long term sources if an enterprise required fund for the period or more than 5 years then the source from which the fund are raised are called as long term sources long term sources are usually raised to fund fixed capital requirements usually long term sources are used more by large scale enterprises as compared to small scale enterprises few examples of long term sources are equity shares debentures loan from bank or loan from financial institutions medium term finance medium term sources the finance requirement for a period or more than 1 year but less than 5 years a business may use medium term sources to raise fund for research and development to update their technological changes or maybe for the launch of new products few examples borrowing from commercial banks public deposits lease financing etc short term sources short term sources fulfill the financial requirement for a period of 1 year short term sources are used to finance current assets like purchasing of inventories to build stock levels for anticipated demands payments to creditor or meet day to day expenses usually wholesalers and manufacturer need larger amount of short term funds as compared to retailers few examples of short term sources are trade credit bank loan commercial papers etc types of long term sources long term sources of finance includes basically equity shares preference shares retained earnings debentures and bank loan bank loan for the period of more than 5 years 
these bank loan may consider as a medium term or maybe as a short term medium term sources as we know medium term sources are the requirements for period more than 1 year but less than 5 years examples of medium term source of finance are public deposits and bank loan other then loan taken for the longer period for more than 5 years if the loan taken for the period of less than 5 year but more than 1 year then it's considered as medium term source of finance short term sources as we know short term sources fulfill the financial requirement for a period of 1 year short term sources are used to finance our current assets like purchasing of raw materials etc few examples of short terms are trade creditors factoring commercial papers and bank loan bank loan again when taken for the period of less than 1 year then it's considered short term source of finance the total capital of a company is divided into small units called shares the smallest unit is called as per value or face value of each share money raised through the issue of share is called share capital and individuals investing in the company by way of purchasing such shares are called shareholders there are two types of share issued by a company equity shares and preference shares equity shares consider as a long term source of business finance let's take equity share as a capital it is the most important long term source of finance provided by the owner of the company that's why it's also called owned share or owns fund they do not carry any preferential or social rights against payment of dividend or repayment of capital every company must issue equity shares at the time of its formation let's take few features of equity shares all limited companies issued equity shares when they are formed it is a prerequisite to formation of a company the capital raised by issue of such share is known as ownership capital equity shareholders are the owners of the company equity share capital is an important and one of the permanent source of finance provided by owners it is repaid only at the time of liquidation of a company equity shareholders are the decision maker as they have the right to vote and to participate in the management of business equity shareholder are the prime risk taker as they gets return on their investment only after all external fixed cost in the form of taxes interest on borrowed capital etc are paid they are also called as a residual owners preference share capital preference share as a source of long term funds it is another important source of raising long term finance preference share capital is the capital raised by issue of preference shares preference shares are the shares which enjoy a fixed rate of return and get a preferential 
or special priority while receiving payment of dividend or repayment of capital at the time of liquidation of a company few features of preferences are as follows preference shareholders get fixed rate of dividend predetermined at the time of issue of such shares they get preferential position over equity share capital with respect to payment of dividends and repayment of capital at the time of liquidation of the company preference shareholders are the creditor of the company as they do not enjoy any kind of voting rights there is no change on assets against issue of preference shares preference shares broadly categorize into different types like cumulative and non cumulative preference shares we'll consider these topics in next video retained earning retained earning is also one of the most important long term source of finance a business may not distribute all the profits earned as equity dividends to its shareholders the profit left over after payment of taxes and dividend are kept as a reserve to be used in future the undistributed profits are called retained earnings retained earnings are flowing back of profits it is a main source of self financing the main features of retained earning are as follows retained earnings represent the undistributed profit of a company they are an important source of finance for business growth and development the amount of retained earning depends on the net profit earn company's dividend policy and the duration of business retained earning are part of shareholders fund therefore no external burden of interest payment or fixed annual return or any kind of repayment is to be done by business it is one of the most dependable and permanent source of funds available all times there is no additional cost of raising finance thus it is the most economical method of financing the next long term source of fund is debentures debenture is long term as well as borrowed fund debenture is a document or a certificate issued under the common seal of a company as an acknowledgement of debt acknowledgement of debt to the holder in accordance to given terms and condition which was written on that piece of paper few features of debenture are debenture are one of the most important long term source to raise borrowed funds debenture are issued by a company as an acknowledgement against the money borrowed it states the rate of interest payable and as well as the time period for which the money is borrowed 
debenture are a source of long term borrowings secured against business assets the debenture holders are therefore considered as creditor of the company the debenture holder carry a fixed rate of interest payable at regular interval of time which may be half yearly or annually a company planning to issue debenture to journal public must get the company rated by credit rating agency like credit rating and information services of india limited cri sil the rating agency rate the company's track record its profitability its debt serving capacity credit worthiness and the perceived risk of lending commercial banks it's one of the important long term source of fund it consider long term medium term as well as short term it's also termed as borrowed fund or short term borrowed funds commercial bank are the most important source of organizing borrowing as they provide fund of different types for different purposes different time period and most importantly to all size of firm few features of commercial banks are bank provide loan on interest rate depending upon the nature of loan state of the firm and the interest prevailing in the economy bank provide medium and short term loans against security or charge an asset of the firm the bank loan can be repaid as an adjustment against deposit like bank overdraft installment or lump sum as agreed at the time of accepting the loan bank extend the loan in the form of overdraft term loan cash credit factoring issuing letter of credit etc bank provide financial assistant to the business as and when needed bank keep the business information confidential and thus business secrecy is well maintained topics to be covered in next video is short term funds and its example and medium terms of funds with its examples thank you so much